Hello. <laughs> Very happy to be in Miami. Ah. First time I show my work in Miami. Second time I show my work in the States. First time was in Washington with the Gallery Nomad. And uh, the experience was very interesting, and now we're here in Florida, so it's wonderful. It's uh, for me very interesting to move with your work out of your country. I live in Belgium, uh, I worked for already uh, 40 years in art, and um, I love to, to move with my work and travel. So I have a lot of opportunities to to show in different countries, in Portugal, Iceland, uh, the States, and it's very important for Belgium artists because we are a small country and we need to, to expand. Excellent. Yeah. Excellent. It's really a pleasure to meet you. You have wonderful energy and it's really great work. <laughs> Thank you. Um, I'm excited by this very austere and yet Color oriented yes, yes, my work is all about no, you you can see about color, uh, reflection, space, light, and also the time you take to look at the work is very important because uh, I'm or uh, I come from uh, uh, perhaps very influenced in when I was younger by the minimalism. But I think my work now tends to something more poetic and more atmospheric also. I agree. It doesn't have the spartan no. quality of minimalism. No, and perhaps even more romantic yes. in, in, a, in a term. But still, I use all those elements with geometry, structure, space, and still is how to put all those things together and work on a sort of new geometry also. So this is geometry. Really important and my work also, in the beginning I worked on canvas and the frame was the, the painting and after I changed the canvas, well I stopped to work on canvas and I decided to work more on the idea of a structure, structure who takes part of, of the wall also wall is part of my painting, it's as important. Yeah, because... exactly, you frame the space. <laughs> yes, I frame the space in different ways and also it's about uh, the type of light in which you see the work is very different. You can see it in very dark, no light, and you can physically oh, really? feel the painting, so something very atmospheric for me also. <clears throat> Ça c'est très important. Sorry, I no, that's great. Uh, Please do feel and comfortable. It, and it's very uh, one of the most important part of my work. So, also how I can see my work in different ways, in different installations, and in different lights. So it's a ever-changing work. You know, it's something as you can fix in a moment, and you see it perhaps. One or two hours later, it, it's it's changing with the light or the mm -hmm. atmosphere. Well, what I like is the way that the work invites you mm -hmm. to come closer, to peek at it. It it makes you want That's to cool. do this. Yes, and it's a very intimate experience to lean in and see that little bit of color. And it's something sensual yeah. when you just see a little bit of color peeking through. And then over here with this one, the subject matter is more clearly the color. This work is all new works. Yes. So this is already in traditional the way I work, but yes. I decided to re begin to put color in frontal. Yes. So because in the I, foreground, I, I'm a painter. First, yes. I'm not a sculptor. I'm a painter. Yes. So it's very important to to create also colors like something you cannot define. It's not a. a only applied color, it's layers of colors, very diluted, and it gives a deepness in, in each color. So it's not like you take a blue or yellow of a pot and you uh, a paint, yeah. you just brush it all over. It's not an all over, it's a work on, on layers of colors also. What kind of paint do you use? I use acrylic. Acrylic, and do you, do you use it like water it? Or yes, I, I use. Uh, use it thin. very 
film. Yes. yes film. Like with acrylic release. Yes, exact, exact. Yeah. And the color uh, applicate the behind of the painting is uh, fluorescent acrylic paint. Yes. Applied directly on the wood. And what is interesting is also it's um, changing uh, perhaps like the density of the color you put change the shadows also. So I work on different kinds of application of the color also. More diluted or more thick. Mm -hmm. Nice. Yeah. And then let's look over here at these beautiful drawings. These people over here are enjoying them. Yes, this is the work I do for a few years already. It's uh, related directly to the paintings. You can see very geometric. Yes. And uh, I work with uh, seal screen. I'm a, also a seal screen teacher. Oh. in an art school in Belgium. Excellent. And so I applied, I print the paper and I cut it and fold it. And so the reflection, you never see directly the, the, the color, color printed, but you see the reflections and the shadows of the paper on the on the, the, the quadra, the, the surface. I find these works really sexy, really appealing. Like they're like, again, that little peekaboo of color, the slit, it, it reminds me, Maybe a little Fontana, tiny bit, that slit. Yeah, I work also, I have different formats. I work bigger or smaller, but for me, the small pieces are very interesting because they are more like a little universe, mm -hmm. very small. You can catch really all the different way of looking. And so that's a work I do already for a few years also. And it's my work on paper. So yeah. it's a way of... Collecting. Working and printing, another way. Nice, nice. It's really, really lovely. This makes me very happy. Beautiful colors, beautiful structure. I like the emphasis on structure, the architectural focus. Very deliberate, very intelligent, sophisticated work. It makes me very happy. With a very good, warm energy. Oh. Okay, good. Thank, Thank you. Yes. Thank you to you. Yeah, it's my pleasure. It's a pleasure to meet you, both Absolutely. of you. <laughs> yeah. Is there anything else you want to tell me before we go? Well, I, I think uh, what's important in the stand here in, in, in the gallery is the work put together. I think it's very important how the galleries choose our two works to be put together. One is very more contemplative and the other one is more illustrative. Mm -hmm. So I, I think it's interesting and we both work with wood. With wood. So it's, That seems it's to be the theme here. Yeah. The wood. I, yeah. I, I identified I that yesterday. It's really not... Uh, it's, uh, it's not on purpose. It's well, we, subconscious. We, we know our, our work, each other, and the galleries put us together. So nice. we already did a few to show together. Nice. It does show well together. Yeah. And you know, I was going to ask you about the wood. You mentioned yeah. something interesting to me about the wood yesterday. Is it? You said it was an African wood. Yes, it's an African wood. Uh, I find in Belgium uh, very uh, light. It's very dry. This is very important for the work because you, can, you know we live in a country where it rains a lot, humidity, mm -hmm. so the, the wood stays really stable. Nice. Know? So that's important and the quality also I like it because it's very neutral. Perhaps yeah, I is. will try other kind of woods later on, but I like it because it's very neutral. It is. It is. It's a little like when you work in architecture and you make models, mm -hmm. you use balsa or mm -hmm. things very... Neutral. Simple, neutral, and it reminds me this type of wood also. It is lovely. Yeah. Thank you. It's a pleasure.